Hi everyone, this is the artist Pascal and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the other eye. So let's just go into the video. I don't want to talk that much because I'm trying to make you learn something today. So you start by drawing a horizontal line. Just draw a horizontal line. It don't have to be perfect. Draw another horizontal line and draw another horizontal line. And count your horizontal line. Make sure it's like five horizontal lines. And draw a vertical line straight in the middle. And these lines gonna these are the guidelines to your face. But today we're covering the eye. So we're gonna talk about the eye. And if you're wondering where these lines is, the uh, second one below the box is the nose and the mouth and the chin. Don't worry about that right now, but we're gonna draw the eye. So if you start by drawing, just draw your eyeball and make sure when you're drawing, please do not draw uh, your eyeballs closer to this line. Always it should be in between these lines. And never uh, draw your eyes. And whenever you try to make it similar, and you draw another eye and it's like completely off guard. So just draw your eye, cover it with the lid. And the line above the eye, the first line, the first horizontal line, that's for your eyebrows. And this guideline really gonna help you keep your eye in perspective and i try to speed the video because this video actually ended up being like 27 minutes long in real time and if you want to watch the real time video i'll upload on picture go on picture and you will find it on picture so just take a look at your eye and observe what you're gonna do next is try to make your eye not as perfect but try to make it match the other one Please, like I said, don't draw your eye touching the horizontal line. It should always be between the horizontal line, the box of the horizontal line, the first two lines. And just draw your eye, but they both don't have to look exactly the same. Just draw another eye and make sure it's in the horizontal line. Don't worry about uh, if it don't look right. Just everything going to fall into place. Trust me. Everything will fall into place. Just keep Keep looking at the eye drawing and follow these guidelines. Draw in a horizontal line. And when you feel your eyeballs, then make sure, like always, like I said, the eyebrows is, uh, is always touching the first horizontal line. If you really want to keep your eye look similar to the other one. And you looking at this line and the vertical line is not really saying it's in the right perspective. So the good thing about this guideline is it's not set in stone. You erase it. I'm trying to teach you something that's going to help you. It don't have to be perfect. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Erase it. And if you wonder, you can just play that out. Nose, mouth, and chin. That's it. We're not doing that in this video. It's for another video. So just draw your horizontal line. I was wondering if I can detail the eye, but it's going to make the video really long. So I actually went ahead and detailed one eye. This one, so just to reduce the opacity, and I went over and draw another eye, draw the eye, draw over the eye. And this one, you detail your eye, you like put in that much detail and stay focused on what you really draw. If you want to make a perfect art, you're gonna put a lot of time into it. You're not just gonna be just straightforward, and that's it. You're gonna try to make it as possible good looking as possible and i'm not gonna use too much term uh, anatomically words for artists because most of you might be beginners for art and i don't want to say your pubic and your eyeballs and the iris and all that try to confuse you just draw your eyebrows draw the eye that you're looking at and make sure you draw in your eye and when you put in the nose gap you always put it in after your, um, uh, you put it in like almost closer to your horizontal line, but it's not that close to the horizontal line. I'm just going over the art right now, but I just want to inform you stuff that you can do to keep your art looking the same. And remember, if you look at someone, both eyes is not exactly the same at the, uh, at the same size, everything. Because your eyes can create expression. Maybe you might get eyebrows up and he might get one down and create that 
stalking or uh, obsessive uh, expression. Use your eyes to create expression. So, artists, you don't have your eye to be perfect. All you got to do is draw the eye and make it match the other one. And make it fit in. They don't have to be exact size. They have uh, Photoshop gimmicks that you can use mirror to to make both eyes the same size. But if that's what you want to do, you don't want your art to be straightforward. You want to create some type of feeling to it, like an expression. So we're going to color one of the eye just to see what we can do with it. But that's how you keep your art, your eye in your eye in perspective. That's how you match the eye. You create two guidelines to help you out from the start. That box drawing is always helpful. I love it. That's like my go-to when I was learning how to draw. And people was like, wow, you, your eyes is not that bad. But it was bad. You know when you learn you're not that perfect, you're gonna, you're gonna have bumps. When you start riding a bicycle, you on six wheels. When you get perfect, you remove the wheels. It's like the guidelines. You might not need the guidelines in like three weeks from now. If you really, really want to learn how to draw the eye, you're just gonna keep drawing the eye so you really learn it. So I encourage you, please just uh, keep drawing. Like always, you're gonna get perfect eventually. Profession is not the key as art, is because after you learn the eye, you gotta learn something else. It's always art is always evolving. So, we in the middle of the video, now I'm almost at the end of the video, and I just want to say, I know it been like three weeks before I upload a video, I didn't have no tablet, but I finally ordered the keyboard and get my tablet repair, and I'm back to making videos, and they have to draw a tutorial, how to draw a portrait tutorial, we're going to make sure we draw eyes, nose, mouth, everything, and we're going to cover it as simple as we can. Just for you to learn it, and what I'm what I'm doing right now is just coloring. If you give someone a coloring book and guideline, when you don't draw in your eye, you can just color it. Brown is brown, black is black, white is white. Whatever you see, just color it. Make sure you pay attention to what you're coloring, and make sure because not everything on your face is the same color. So just color what what you're looking at, and exactly what I'm looking at is what I'm looking at, and this. Eye is not really a picture eye. I just draw it from my imagination. It's not something I actually Google. So I can really pull out a reference. But if you're looking at a reference, just pay attention to the reference. And right now I'm not even using reference. But before, if you watch my how to custom acting video, you know my artwork was not that great. Because I was in ninth grade. I was learning. But now, I can actually draw an eye out of my imagination. That's why I'm encouraging you to just keep on drawing. And trust me, you will get better over time. Especially when you love art. When you have that passion. I'm talking about that. <laughs> that passion. Just, you know, that, you get, <laughs> I'm telling you that. Ooh, that passion. That's what's going to drive you to be a better artist. Mm -hmm. That passion, it burns that we, when you like, oh my god, I just want to draw. You go in class and teach teaching, and you over there creating a uh, a alien environment for with zombies because no one gets you. <laughs> I'm just saying that was me. I just sit in class and just draw whatever. And when I that was that's that's mostly what I did in high school, drawing most of my class. And my teacher would be like, "This is not art class." Exactly. It's not art class, but that's what I like to do. Despite the fact I'm going to stay past your class, though. Even though I'm not listening. <laughs> it's something I want to say. Uh, you saw me. I paint the eyebrow uh, first. I paint the background of the eyebrow first, but I actually draw the eyebrow. And remember, I'm stay using the guidelines. The eye is in the middle. It's not touching to a horizontal line. And I'm using white. To pop it out. Whenever you draw black, mm, just use like maybe three white lines. It's gonna make your eye look vivid <laughs> and sharp. Maybe the eye looking at it might not be like that, but it's really, it's gonna really pop it off. And whenever you paint your background, you put your eyebrows. It just keep it realistic. It make make it seems like you have a scheme. Like actually, it's a scheme behind the uh, 
behind the eyebrow is not just black so I encourage you to just paint the dark shade behind the eyebrows before you actually draw your eyebrow and this art is not like detail detail it's an imaginary eye so we cannot really detail this as much as we can but thank you and please subscribe i love all you guys for sticking with me and that's your guideline and stick with it like you've been sticking with me and have a great one everyone see you in the next one